Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you are having a great and safe day. So in this video, I'm going to detail about how you can get your third stimulus check faster, quicker, and easier. In fact, many stimulus checks are being sent out today and as we speak, millions of people across the country are getting a third stimulus payment. So if any of you guys received a $1,400 stimulus check or even more, then feel free to leave me a comment down below so other people in this community can see that you got a third stimulus check. I just want to let you guys know that the IRS is working hard to send out us $1,400 payments. But if you did not get a third stimulus check yet, don't feel bad because I'm doing an Amazon gift card giveaway. This Friday, I'll be announcing two winners of a free $100 Amazon gift card. And all that you got to do to enter the win is smash the like button and share this video with your friends and family. I know that many of you folks are suffering and I just want to do my best in giving back and helping you guys out as much as possible. So be sure to enter this free Amazon gift card giveaway for $100. You guys can use the $100 on Amazon to pay for anything that you need, even for food. Now many eligible individuals and families who receive SSI and SSDI have been waiting to hear when they'll get their $400 payments. But on Monday, the IRS said it's working directly with the Social Security Administration to obtain updated information to increase the likelihood of you getting a third stimulus payment. Being on a separate track for payments is only one of the most important details for SSDI and SSI recipients if you guys are one of them. For example, you also receive your money a different way this time than with a second stimulus check. The fact is that the checks are arriving during tax season and this could complicate some things, especially if you gain a new dependent in 2020. In addition folks, if you stopped or started receiving SSI or SSDI in 2020 or even 2019, you could also face another obstacle. The IRS said on March 22, just two days ago, that a payment date for those who receive social security and other federal benefits will be announced as soon as the information becomes available. The Social Security Q&A webpage for the third stimulus payment says it will expand its question and answer soon. The IRS told multiple sources that it is working directly with other federal agencies to update information for you to get your third stimulus check faster and quicker. So folks, just be patient and trust the process. You will get a third stimulus check this year, without a doubt. The IRS and Treasury will use the information, will use the information it has on file to automatically send you a check. People who have already filed a 2020 tax return this year to claim missing stimulus money may find that the IRS will likely use this information instead of your 2019 tax return. And the great news is that the government will conduct an outreach program, letting taxpayers know if they're eligible for any funds and offering help if needed. Any missing payment from a third check may be paid out as part of tax season 2021. Multiple government agencies are also saying that federal benefit payments like SSI, Social Security, and veterans are going to be sent to you automatically and electronically. You must either have the money deposited directly to a bank or credit unit, or even get your money on a Direct Express prepaid debit card. But folks, only current Direct Express cardholders are eligible to receive the latest stimulus payment on their debit card. Remember, this is how Direct Express works. The program is used by around 4.5 million Americans. Federal benefits are automatically deposited into your Direct Express card account each month on your payment date. No bank account or credit check is required to enroll. Plus, there are no sign-up fees or monthly account fees. Direct Express cardholders like yourself can use these cards to make purchases at stores that accept Debit MasterCard to pay their bills, purchase money orders from the Postal Service, and even withdraw money from the ATM. Now, folks, you should be getting a third stimulus payment in your Direct Express card if you already have one. Folks, I guarantee that you will get a third stimulus check very soon, possibly before the end of the month. Quicker, quicker than anticipated. And with my COVID team and uh, uh, went through and we used the Defense Production Act, we've been able to organize and help increase the number of doses in a much shorter time. So by the end of May, we're going to have on hand roughly 600 million doses enough for every American. And the American Rescue Plan is also going to provide funding for more vaccination, vaccination sites, vaccinators, and the paraphernalia needed to put that vaccine in one's arm. In addition, there is a second important piece of that plan. It's focused on dealing with the economic deprivation so many Americans have become subject to a consequence of this virus through no fault of their own. Millions have lost their jobs and are still out of work. Around 11 million children in America are going hungry through no fault of their own. But as a result of the pandemic and the economic crisis, millions of Americans are not able to maintain their mortgage payments or rental payments and have found themselves on the verge of being evicted of having their homes repossessed. But we stepped in and we prevented that from happening with the American Rescue Plan. Hundreds of thousands of businesses are now 
are not going to go under, but they're going to have an idea, an opportunity to reopen and have the financial assistance to be able to do it the right way and safely. Schools closed and children losing up to a year or more in learning capacity. You're ahead of the skates here in Ohio, but across the nation, it's, the help was badly needed, and we've now provided the funding for that. Because of isolation and violence against women is up, abuse of children is up, and the need for mental health problems to deal with mental health problems and the consequence of them is up as a consequence of COVID. And in addition to that, suicides are up. The second, uh, so second, the American Rescue Plan brings relief to a population that's badly hurting. And one more element of our response is that first and foremost is a commitment to get Americans $1,400 check per person, including per child. So a firefighter and a school teacher making $120,000 combined with two kids are going to get a direct payment of $5,600 in cash. If they already have a, an account online with the IRS, which m many do, by tomorrow, we will have distributed 100 million of those checks. Just since the legislation passed, we're on the verge of doing that as of tomorrow. But for someone who doesn't have a direct deposit, they're getting a check in the mail for all of that. So we expand the child, we also expanded the child care tax credit. Right now, if you file your federal income tax, you get to a $2,000 deduction for every child you have. But if you're making the minimum wage, you don't earn enough to file for federal taxes. But because of the American Rescue Plan, if you have two children, for example, under the age of six, you're going to get a check for $3,600. If you have if you're a, a child, and so if you have two children, $7,200 will be paid on a monthly basis. This is going to be life changing. It's estimated this will do more to end child poverty in America than anything we've ever done. There's also the earned income tax credit. If you're over the age of 19 and not a full-time student and you're a childless worker, now you will get a check for $1,500 if you file. And by the way, dogs may help cure cancer. Not a joke. Dogs are able to, they're using dogs now because their olfactory glands are 400 times what a human is, to smell cancer in people's legs and people's bodies. Not a joke. It's a fascinating thing. Sir, is it comforting or is it hopeful or more painful for you to hear about cancer developments like this? It's, it's mostly hopeful because I don't want to see anybody go through what my son went through. One of the things you should be aware of, there's probably more soldiers, sailors, airmen, marines coming home with brain cancers than any time in American history because of exposure. Some of you have read 